So I beat Five Nights at the Freddy's 3. Now, this was easily the easiest game to complete, and everyone else agrees with me. You know, this is a very easy game to complete. However, luck is part of, 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 of Five Nights at Freddy's, right? Luck is how you can win sometimes. Um, which is how I beat Five Nights at Freddy's 1. It was just luck. Here's the issue. Five Nights at Freddy, Freddy's 3 gave me the worst luck ever. Every single time on night 6 I went in, he spawned in camera 6, which is that if he goes there, just quit the game. I didn't realise you should do that until I beat pretty much 1. Like the game before, I realised if he spawns on camera 6, quit the game because you're not winning. Right? In night 6, this man normally, in the space of a second, goes through two cameras, right? I The only reason I won was because of complete luck. I'm not going to explain why, we'll just move straight on. I spent a minute talking. I'm going to show you. I'm annoyed. You'll, you'll, you'll see why. You'll see why. It's night 6. I'm going to commentate of what, what, I've, what I was thinking and what I was doing because I was recording and... I just didn't want to talk. I was out of energy, I was really annoyed, and I just didn't- I just didn't talk. Okay, so, um, quickly I close this vent just in case he goes into this vent. And video is on, but it doesn't matter because I try and lure him in there. V uh, camera system really doesn't matter that much if you kind of know where roughly he is. Uh, and at this point, uh, you can hear me, I was cracking my knuckles because I was just- just, I, I just, you know, planning all the stress out. I go back over, and I, I couldn't find them. I had no idea where it was. So I just guessed camera 9, right? Now, at this point, because when I switch over to camera 5, he actually walks over to camera, what is that? Oh, sorry, 4. He walks over to camera 4. I go on camera 10, and I use it, and he actually spawns there. I was very, very lucky to do this. Now, that Freddy, uh, the Freddy thing, I don't care. That doesn't affect me if I'm quick enough. And again, you could see the phantom there. If I was Hi. even like 0.1 seconds slower, that would have got me and I probably would have died to it. Uh, you can hear him go into the vent, right? So I'm kind of confused. And you can hear him keep going from the vent to outside to the vent to outside. People don't understand how lucky this is. Because to get to a vent, the vent I've already closed in the first place is already like a one in five chance, right? Then to go from camera- oh, also I see, at this point, I see Foxy. I'm very lucky to do this. Okay. Uh, I just went back into the thing, he's very easy to get rid of. Anyway, at this point, you can still hear him keep going in the vent and back out of the vent and back in. This is confusing. Because I thought, oh shit, he's gone into another vent, right? It turns out he hasn't, he went back in the same exact vent as he went in. He then goes to camera 10, and he goes back into the vent. Hello. I use audio thinking he wouldn't go back in the vent. He does this so many times where it actually goes on for an hour and you can see it goes on to 3 a.m. And this was lucky. Very lucky. Knowing that he's not in the vent anymore, I play the audio, I go back, I can reboot all systems. Because I have the time. I have time to do this, right? Again, I don't talk because at 3 a.m. this is actually my record for night 6. So I was happy to get to, not, to, to 3 a.m. However, I just had no hope, so I just didn't talk at all. I come back over, and again, the Phantom is there. I'm lucky to do that. I have no idea where Smooth Truck is. <laughs> this is the point at which I thought, I can't win. This isn't happening. So I just spam audio to hope that it works. I go to camera 10. Hello. That doesn't work. I see Freddy, so I'm thinking, okay, we'll just do audio and we'll go. If I was a second later, I think I would have lost this as well, because he would have been able to jump scare me, and I'd have to reset ventilation, and spring trap would have gone over. Now, you can see for a split second, he was actually in camera 10. Hi. Right? I didn't see this. And he didn't go back there, and V was off, so I had to guess. I waited for camera 5, I did that. <laughs> and it's still 4am, and I think there's just no way, right? If And here, if I didn't reboot all, I would have lost. And you'll see why just now. Um, he was there. By the way, it only just turned 5am, right? He was just there. I just turned off ventilation, and he was just there, right? And so, I have no hope. I think I moved my mouse a bit, because I was just, like, I was so stressed. I literally sat there, 
waiting. Ventilation goes up, I wait, right? For ventilation, you can wait. You're fine with waiting. He moves there, you can see him run past, the he's behind the door, and if I blink two more times, I think I'm dead, right? This goes off, I'm okay, I'm okay, I can exit. He is behind that door. Meaning if anything happens now, if one thing goes off, I'm dead. If a phantom comes, I'm dead. By the way, he could also just come randomly, because it's happened before. So, I don't know what to do. Uh, and at this point, I'm sitting there, hands in head, and I genuinely thought I was about to lose. Yes! Oh my god, finally! Oh my god! And uh, from that, you can tell, I, I won, and this was the longest night I've had to do. It took around three hours to complete Five Nights Freddy's 6, and an hour and a bit just to complete oh, Night 6. I'm I so happy it's over, and I can now move on to Five Nights at Freddy's 4, and I don't game. know if the video will be out tomorrow. We'll have to see. And I have um, I know if I complete it. it tomorrow early, or if I complete it tonight early, I'm I able to have... make the video, but we'll see. Finally done it! No one understands how long that took.